Hey guys, welcome to Transformed Tuesday. This is uh, Donna Lewis with Breathe Life Ministries. And we are live. So today we are talking about endurance and the power to endure. So just uh, bear with me here while I get my good screen up. <laughs> okay, so we are in Toxic to Transformed, 100 Words of Life to Renew the Mind. And we are talking about the power to endure. So what I'm gonna do is share my screen here with you. And yes, it is Transform Tuesday, the power to endure. And I'm just gonna say a quick word of prayer um, so that I can have my mind, <laughs> my mind in the right place. And uh, I just got back from a trip into Chattanooga. And so I have been scrambling since I got in the door and I just kind of want to settle everything down here real quick. Lord in heaven, I thank you for your love. I thank you for the power of transformation. Holy Spirit, I invite you and welcome you uh, into this place now to renew our minds in your word and restore us in your presence, God, in Jesus' name, amen. So, looking at Hebrews 10.36 from the Passion Translation, we see here that it says, you need the strength of endurance to reveal the poetry of God's will. And then you receive the promise in full, endurance, endurance. So that is what we are looking at. Before we go any further though, we've got our fun question of the day. Go ahead and put this in your comments. Who is your favorite superhero? And it, I mean, it, we're, we're talking just who is your, your, your favorite? I mean, we, we, it could be Mighty Mouse. It could be the underdog. It could be Batman. <laughs> Who is your favorite superhero? Mine is Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. The reason why is because everything that she has is all natural. It's just who she is. She wasn't bitten by a radioactive spider. She didn't come from outer space. <laughs> it is just who she is. And, and part of her superpower is her compassion. I, I, I love Wonder Woman. She's my favorite. So who is your favorite? And, and why? Why do you love that particular superhero? Okay, so now let's just take a look here at, uh, this is word 12 from the 100 words of life. And let's just take a look at it here. It takes endurance to win a race or complete a degree. Renewing the mind is no different. It too requires patient endurance. The world will challenge your resolve as you walk through the process of transformation. It will try to reinforce old lies and double down on self-doubt. But your confidence lies in a power greater than your own. I'm going to read that again. Your confidence lies in a power greater than your own. Look to the one who has overcome the world. 
Jesus Christ. Focus your attention on him and his eternal supply. Then you too will overcome. If we try to rely on our own strength in these situations, in any situation, we can maybe get a little ways, maybe even a lot, but eventually our strength will wear out. If we look to Jesus Christ and the power that he supplies through his word and the Holy Spirit, then we can endure it. We, we can be successful. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so here's a question for you. What are some promises from God's word that you rely upon when you feel like you're running out of strength. Maybe it's physical strength. Maybe it's emotional strength. Maybe it's your patience. What do you rely upon? I'm going to take a look here, see if we've got anybody here. So that is the question. What promises from God's word do you rely upon when you feel like you're at the end of your own strength? I, I think of a couple different scriptures. One is... Um, that they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Another one is a scripture that we typically rely upon when we're running out of money. <laughs> And that is, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. My challenge to you today with this quick word of life is to find scriptures from God's word that you can rely upon when you feel like you're running out of strength, when your endurance is pushing the empty mark. I love you guys. This is just a quick word of life today for Transform Tuesday. You all be blessed. Leave your comments and your questions and your insights. And I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will be back with our uh, expert interview with Cindy K. Green of The Journey Shop. God bless. Yeah, let's see here. Well, maybe I'm not done yet. Hang on, gang. <laughs> okay.